And you're not bad most TV. Entertainment without bound. <laughs> Mo boy pe on plan lati gbe ayin la omo wura lo si London for a musical tour. Ke bi won ni ko sai apala ni London. Awa ma gbe apala o London. A London. And this is going to be our last debut. Ai la ba da da mo gunku. Discover his essence. Alaji ayin la ni wo wari. The roots that bore him. Emi o kin se yawo yin. Ta yawo mi re o. Nje le. Omo aburu ya mi gan gan bayi ni. Mo ri be se wo omo yan lo. Ade pe tori wa idi na lo se fe di soro yo to mbora. His music. Ko ti wa ala fa ni bi laje agata. His craft. Lo foru ko mi si London ti en lo ya. Ma baba travel. Ah e gbe ti pe. What did we do to him? <laughs> we are in business. I'm sure you're wondering what's happening with Moya today. Well, it's because we are in a space and a time where culture has taken over and we brought it to the red carpet today, looking all glammed up like a yao lote. I don't know of what time it is, but don't worry about that. I will tell you before I leave here. This is another time on the red carpet live on Enyola Badmos TV and I'm so glad to be out here for the movie Anyela. I'm sure if you take way back to some of those who gave us awesome, awesome music, talk about Akwala music, then you would definitely think about Anyela Omawura. Oh God, I'm sure you're still thinking, right? Um, even if you were not born then, you probably watched your dad or your mom listen to this man. That is the man we're about to watch a story or the story of his life shown to us at the cinema. I am so excited because this project brings together the old and the new, talking about Uncle Tunde Kilani as well as Jade or Shibaru. They have brought collaborators together to bring us this particular movie. And it has awesome actors like Adeji Meji Latif. It has Mr. Macaroni, Omo Dada, Kule Afolayan, and a host of others. This promises to be epic because we are about to watch the story of Angela firsthand on this side of life. And it's a great time to be alive. Nigerian cinemas are going to experience greatness this time. I can't wait to see it and bring you everyone on this red carpet. But let's go talk to the guests. But before then, I think I should show you all I have going on here tonight. Tell me, what do you think? If I enter the kingdom, would Kabiesi not be pleased with me? No, you just take a look now. Omoto, Omoto. Anyway, it's not about me. It's about the guests coming out here tonight. So let's go talk to them and know how they feel coming out to see the movie. Ayela.
very proud of our culture, tradition, and everything. And it's rapping this night. How are you doing tonight? Sir? I'm good. Yourself? Please tell me I'm very well. Please tell me who styled you tonight. I'm sure it's your brand. Yeah, this is um, this is one our new collection. And it's called Bafe by Kunle. You always go deep. I can't even say that myself. But this is a project I know you're very excited uh, about, and that's because you're one person that loves culture, you love tradition. What, was, what do you think is the thought about going way back to bring the story of Angela Mobura? I mean, look, we, all over the world, people like to document um, their, their cultures and ways. And, and um, there are people who have done tremendous things towards um, uh, uh, uplifting the glory of different countries. I mean, like if Ray Charles, if you see Ray Charles, I mean, film, um, it gets you to learn a lot about America and then music. Um, but during Ayala's music, of course, Ayala is typical Yoruba. The genre is Akpala, which is like really conk. Uh, a lot of the younger generation really don't have an idea, you know, who are he lies. Exactly. So with this, um, one, they get to understand what Akbala music is about. Uh, they get to understand the impact I Ayala played, um, not only as a musician, but as a Yoruba man and as a Nigerian. And, um, you know, and I'm, I'm sure it will encourage people to want to do more biopic and, you know, things about, you know, veterans and all of that. Very true. One thing I love the most about him is the fact that listening to his music, I was getting a very, very interesting vibe. So I want you to do one of your favorite songs of his for us right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> 
Odorogbe ko ti asha oni ba nba se ko bara siwaju ya ode ya dasemo omo oni gbese to be je leru I know you will go on but before I let you go finally you're part of this project you played an amazing role tell us a bit and tell people why they should come out to see it Um well I think it's a, it's a film that is very ent entertaining and very informative and I think people should uh people should see it and um you know this is about legacy and this is about what we stand for so yeah thank you so much have fun tonight sir my name is latif i did meji and i just want to tell you all to please keep watching for you before we start this interview can your mama see eva no tell me no just tell me no look at look at that body look at that body look at that you look good thank you so much i mean z came to the world and brought us all this gorgeousness all over again how are you doing i'm great thank you it's good to have you come out i don't know if this is your first time since z is my first outing since z wow jade oshibari definitely brought you out here i know do anything but jade Oh, wow, my guy. <laughs> uh, from Sugar Rush to this point, yeah. Yes. Interesting. But now we're here to see a movie that's put uh, Lagos, you know, on its feet tonight. It is Anyela's story. Did you meet Anyela? I did not meet Anyela. No. But I am looking forward to his story, and I'm looking forward to how his story is going to be told. And I know that it's going to be told amazingly because the person that is playing Anyela, first of all, a ball of talent. There is nothing he doesn't know how to do bad movies, you know. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, yeah. What do you think this would do for us? Because I mean, we're going way back with our stories these days. We are putting Africa in the center stage with a lot of amazing stories. And Uncle Tunde did so much with the people he brought together this time around. What do you think this means for us as Africa? I think it's an amazing thing because I think we need to get to the point where we appreciate where we're from and where we appreciate the living legends or the legends that pass through um, Nigeria. Um, I think it's about time we start telling stories that are pertinent to us um, and I like the fact that this is happening and I do believe that in the near future that we're going to have more people telling more stories about people that have passed through, legends that have passed through Nigeria, um, telling stories that are original and just being proud of where we're from. Um, so really excited about it. Let's talk about you for a little bit. It's just the first half of the year. After Z, we definitely can't wait to have our Susu back in the cinema. When will that be? Um, this year. But I can't talk about it, so just be on the lookout. We are looking out for it. Thank you so much. Hi, hi. My name is Jumo Keodetola. I keep watching Eniola Badmos TV. It is interesting because I'm from Abeokuta, and you know, this. Um, if you know my track record, I always make film that has a bit of me in it. And um, it, this is about own, you know, the idea that African filmmakers or storytellers must go back and dig, dig our own stories from our rich cultural heritage. And so um, it's so natural to me that I would be interested in doing Alamora because since I was young, I've been listening to music, you know, and I come to realize what he did, the importance of his contribution to African music, because although he was not educated in that sense, but between him and the star drummer, Adewale Onilola, they gave us 20 volumes of music. You know, most of it not written down, but from their own memory. And this is not ordinary music. This is music that contains poetry, you know, stories, philosophy, um, current affairs, and things like that. So I think it would be irresponsible of me not to make this film. So, sir, what do you think is the major message the rest of the world will be taking out of this one? Look, this is... Um, if you know, the, that's what the whole world is doing. Everybody is telling their own stories and promoting their own culture. And that is what we should do. It shows you that something that you think is local, like Akwala music, can be premiered in Victoria Land at Ebony Library. That's just the beginning. It could be New York, it could be Washington, it could be anything. 
But the idea is we are promoting. It, this is our own cultural expression, and we are giving it to the world. That, hey, listen, come on. This is a pala music, and we are telling the stories of the talented people who gave us this band of music. Hi guys, my name is Adesua Itomi Wellington and you are watching Enyola Badmas TV. Don't go anywhere. people that are doing well, you tell them specially, oh, you are doing well. So this is Eniola Badmos TV. If you know you want to be doing well, keep watching Eniola Badmos TV. Ayala today, the man we've been waiting for is finally here. Ayala, how do you feel? I'm good. I'm feeling good. I know for a, for, a, for a matter of fact that you must be really excited right now. I mean, we just only came from Prophetess. So this point, and it's like back to back. You're just serving us. What do you think is the secret behind all of this back to back, big major roles? God, giving my best to my craft, and then putting all my concentration on my craft, not losing focus, and doing all I can. I know that I've seen a lot of clips online, and to, from as a matter of fact, I know that you bodied this character, as in you were inside of it. Did you meet Ayala? No, I never met him. I never met him. I don't know him, but from stories, from reading about him and all of that, I got to meet him, I got to know him, and then I was able to deliver. But how does it feel like taking up Anyela's role? What are those things you had to do, you had to learn doing this? It feels good. It's basically learning the musical part, learning his characterization, his mannerism, how he does his things and all of that, basically. Yeah. I think you're doing that right now. Is there any part of you? What was the major challenge taking up this role? I know you had to speak Egba, and this is something you, you can, I know you're good with languages, but was it difficult going deep with the language this time? It wasn't difficult like that. It wasn't difficult. Nothing was difficult actually. It's just basically challenging, and then I'm ready to face it. I was ready to face it, and I did face it. So I didn't say much of difficulty. I just see a challenging role that um, needs to pull through and uh, get delivered. Did you, how did you feel when you knew that you were working with Sunday Kilani the Great? Excited. It's more like a dream come true for me. This is one thing I've always wanted to do, and then lucky me. Here I am. So fast, so quick, here we are. We are going to see this movie. I know you must be excited, but tell me, what do you think people would take out of it eventually when it hits the cinema? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Everything that has to do with life, every lesson that has to do with life, every lesson that has to do with you, taking life seriously and then making a good life for yourself. 
is in this movie. You'll get to see it. And we cannot wait. Thank you so much. I hope you have fun tonight. Hi, my name is Ade Laoye. Keep watching Anyala Badmas TV. Give me, give me, give it to me. Uh, oh my son is, this vibe is, it's killing me, it's killing me. Oh yeah, good, good. How far can you go? Hey, <laughs> you're not tired. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? I'm very well, thank you. You're definitely one of my favorite persons to see oh, out tonight. How do you feel stepping out to see a movie that's talking about our culture, music, and tradition? I feel great. I feel honored. I feel privileged to be a part of this great, timeless, historic movie. Yeah. I know that you must have been a, a, a very elated when you got the, the script to be a part of it. I was super happy when I got the script to be one of the cast of this movie because come on, <laughs> the producers are one who are, uh, the producers are known with quality works so I was super excited. So tell us a little bit about your role in the movie. I played the role of Kemi Kemo. What were you doing? Of a cool spot, um, of a cool spot where Ayala frequents. Ah, so yeah, the one serving Ayala the drinks. I know that tonight we're definitely going to see the movie live, and this one is one work that would push you out there. What are you expecting after this one? I'm expecting, I'm expecting um, totality. When I say totality, I mean I'm expecting, I'm expecting people to be happy, to be super happy, to be fulfilled watching the movie because it is not a regular movie, it is not your everyday movie, it is not a movie that you would watch and forget. We hope that we are going to feel that way eventually. Have fun tonight and thank you for talking to us. Hello everybody, what's going on? Shea Ulo and this is Eniola Badmos TV. Okay, I'm sure you know that I would definitely call out Mama because she's one person that I love. And it's been such a while I saw her on the carpet. I can imagine COVID, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, it's good to be out again. And you look, you look stunning. This is the real cultural extravaganza you're bringing out here tonight. How are you doing tonight, Ma? Let's do it. Let's bring it out. Who styled you? Wisdom Franklin. We'll have one or two interviews so I'm going to take your tail on my way out of here. <laughs> this is a night we all have been waiting for, Mama. And uh, it's a night we're waiting for because this story we're about to watch is something that has it goes down to our roots. You're one person who definitely loves culture also. Coming out tonight, how do you feel? I'm really excited. I overheard them saying that right. this project took seven years to make so and for me I'm all about hard work and, uh, sweat and tears I, I, I love I love that I'm such a supporter of that so I'm all here for it so we, what was the last work by today Kilani you saw uh, put me on the spot all of them. Now, at this point, please <laughs> did you ever imagine that it was going to phones? give us something? Did you ever imagine that it was going to give us something so great? Sorry, did you, you imagine that Tunde Kilani was going to come back to our faces this soon? Oh, of course. It was just a matter of time, you know. As a creative, the juices are always running. You can't just stay at bay for too long. You must come back out. So, yeah. who are those you rooting for tonight? Oh, I'm rooting for all the cast and the crew. A lot of the cast and the crew are my colleagues. So, I I definitely have come out to to show to show my support. Did you, did you listen to Ayala Mawura's music back in time? I'm sure it was playing somewhere. <laughs> but now it's going to be in your face a lot. And that's what, that's what this industry is all about. And I feel like it's important that we showcase our culture from back in the day to today to the future. We have to continuously showcase who we are and be proud of that. So earlier on, I had everyone do the cultural dance for me. So I'm going to have you do the same thing. So we're going to imagine you're listening to an Akpala music. So how would you move? <laughs> that definitely isn't a <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you so much for talking to us. Guys, you know, for two events now, I and Macaroni will be doing countdown to this day. I've talked over and over again about the fact that we're looking forward to this premiere and it is here finally. Macaroni, how do you feel? I feel very good. I feel great. I'm so happy to be a part of this project. It's, 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 a, it's a great plus. It's a great plus for me. It's a great plus for everyone involved in the project. So I'm happy to be a part of it. You now come back home because culture now was celebrating me by you. So give me the vibes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you are a major character in this movie. What was the journey like and how did you feel when you even got your script? I mean, if you let Gilani send you a script, you will be excited. It's something to be excited about. So I had so much fun being, 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 um, being privileged to get a script. So I was happy. I read it. I was even more excited about this person, Ayala. You understand? So um, understanding the role, putting myself in that character, it was a whole lot of fun, and I'm happy to have featured in it. I know you are, but again, you, did you did you witness the times of Ayinla real life? Did you? Did you witness the time of Ayinla? Oh no, I'm 28 years old. <laughs> but listening to his music and looking at creating his um, uh, his life and times at this day, what do you think is the importance of this kind of expose to us in Africa? Is the importance of this kind of expose for us in Africa? Um, you know, um, it is good to support, um, to, to always, any any avenue, avenue that we have to celebrate our culture. It's very important. That's the work of art. Yes, art is there to entertain, educate, inform, but art is also used to um, promote culture and tradition. So that's what this movie has done, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to tap tap into it and yeah and from there we will continue to see because there, there are millions of stories that we can tap from our culture and this movie is a hit and it has already taken your career to another level what is the next thing from here now oh we have to continue to do well um it has always been entertainment entertainment um, industry for me and what we can do to continue to grow our own entertainment industry you understand so of course we will explore every avenue available to us to push our work out there all right thank you so much for talking to anyala badmas tv yo what's up guys my name is akan nani i'm an actor content creator producer tv you know, extraordinary. <laughs> so guys, keep it locked on Enola Badmos TV. And I've seen different interpretation of the cultural extravaganza here tonight, and this is amazing. Using a show okay, in a different way. I love it, who styled you? I was styled by Diko Ayo Adeosi. Um, the Ashoke is from Bizbod, and the dress, well, the outfit was made by Babayo. And your hair, <laughs> you went way back. Shout out to Iyalia, who did my hair. Shout out, shout out. I know Iyalia must be on the street. <laughs> shout out to Iyalia. But again, earlier on, I made people do an introduction of themselves, you know, using their cultural heritage. And I'm going to allow you to do the same. So tell us. My name, wait, what do you mean? Col Go deep with your culture, introduce yourself from, with your hometown and all the el eulogy that comes with it. Oh God, Orukomini Adelaoye from Oshun by way of Ibadan actually. So, you know, I'm claiming both. Um, yeah. <laughs> and in case you do not know, she's in the movie. I am. Do you feel? I'm excited. I'm exhausted because, you know, just doing the red carpet rounds can be a bit exhausting, but, but I'm very excited. Here we are, and you're about to experience magic. You tasted it firsthand, but now we're here to experience it. When you got the script to work with the legendary Tunde Kilani, how did it make you feel? Um, first of all, I said yes before I read the script, because why not? I not. DK! Speaking of, speaking of, he's here. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you? Um, so yeah, I'm like, I said yes before I read the script, because I was just like, I've been wanting to work with TK for like years. So I knew that I would be in good hands. Um, and then, you know, I was told that, uh, I learned that it was a story about Ayinla, who I didn't really know much about. Um, I didn't listen, we didn't listen to his music growing up. So I'm like, I just, I'm like, I knew nothing about him, but just learning about him and going on that journey was amazing. And then you took in um, a character that we're definitely going to discover very soon. But again, it was beyond Tunde Kilani. There's also a Jadiber, a Deber, a Shiberis touch in this. And it's always a women, like the powerful touch that comes with our works. But now that we are here, 
Do you feel some kind of way? Are you anxious? Um, I'm. There is a healthy amount of nervousness just because I don't know how it all turned out. You know, when you're on set, you're working, you don't know how it looks. But like, it's, like you said, being, you know, having Jade at the helm of this, we're in good hands. Jade knows what she's doing. She has an incredible eye for detail. So I'm not worried. I'm just, I'm just like, okay, I hope my performance was good. But besides that, I'm sure the movie is fantastic. All right, we cannot wait, but we're going to tell people why they need to come out to see the movie on the 18th. You want to do that? Yes, please come out and watch Ayala every, in cinemas everywhere from June 18th. You're going to laugh. You're going to... You're going to cry because it's, it's such a moving and it's such a touching story. And I think you'll feel inspired to be Nigerian because we just really delve deep into the cultural aspect of things. And it's, and it's a beautiful film to watch. I can't wait. I can't wait. So I'm going to do the uh, outro, right? Both of us with the Akbala okay. move. You want to okay, do that? Okay. okay. Let's go. Tiki actually taught me how to do this. Oh, okay. okay. I want to see it. So for women, you kind of have to like hold your, hold your blouse. Uh -huh. And then you just kind of like go like that. Yay. Yay. Hey, hey. I'm sure we have remixed the move, but thank you so much. Big, big shout out to the amazing Aniola Badmus and all of you at home. Peace and love. It's your girl, Asasi Gadaro. Bye. Guys, Akka Kaya came out here tonight and is going on with the best dressed male with a sum of 500,000 naira. I'm glad that this interview is happening after you got that spread because <laughs> I've been, my eyes have been on you since you got here. First, first, how much is my share? <laughs> I will give you like 2K. We will give you 2K. <laughs> uh, bad as a bad, eh? I'll take like 50K, right? Let's do, let's do 10. 10. Zero, zero, zero. Ah. It, it, it. <laughs> but really, how do you feel tonight? I'm excited. I feel good. I feel blessed. A lot of my friends are here. We're all laughing and making fun. So I'm excited about that. But did you think that this was going to happen, being the best dressed tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was going to happen. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mad. Like, n stories that are about us, our history, our identity, and culture. So I wanted to come and learn. Not just be entertained, so I'm excited about it. And I am too. So, who are those you're rooting for tonight on this movie? I'm rooting for um, everybody, from the producers to the cinematographers to the actors to everybody on the production team. I'm an actor too, so I'm hoping everybody is a part, is a huge part of making a movie a success. And I want everybody to, you know, go home feeling, you know, excited that you know their work came out and turned out great. All right, then we're going to let you go, but then bring out your phone. Zero, zero, zero. How <laughs> fun tonight. She you tell, oh my wallah wah. She you tell, oh my wallah wah. You should be spraying me by now. Eh. Yes. Eh. That's how it's done. But I thought uh, uh, CBN said they arrest me with a spray money. Oh, no. Spray me my money. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I wasn't expecting anything short. I mean, you are on my wall of war. What, what were they thinking when they said we should bring culture to this place? I mean, they were talking about me. Standard now. Uh, one more, we might bring it. Why not? Standard. Uh -uh. Standard period. <laughs> <laughs> Always nice to meet you on the carpet. How are you tonight? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Now, I'm good. I'm good, Shay. And now we are going to see something that brings us to that moment of a lifetime of a man that we did not even experience. I'm sure you did not meet him. No. Uh uh oh. But now we are going to. But how do you feel knowing that you're going to be exposed to the life of one man whose story is definitely interesting to watch? I'm definitely looking forward to it. I mean, finding out more about the things that happened in the past of Nigeria, how entertainment business was like at that point in time, fashion. You know, you know the, the the most the, the highlight for me, I think, is the music. Right, I mean, it's the stars of the cast. We have Adela Tiv, Tunde Kalani producing, Tukulia Folayo. I mean, it, there's a host of them. That is just one part of it, but the music. I want to see how they did that. Now, that's what I'm looking forward to. So I want you to show me a bit of that right here because I'm going to sing you with that. A bit of. I will sing you with that. Chemano milu. 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 Ch
<laughs> Looking at what we have here, we're having a mixture of the old and the new. I mean, Tunde Kilani representing the, you know, way back, yes. and then there's Jade representing our generation. Yes. Did you see this kind of collaboration coming at this time? Not like I did I see. I've been expecting and waiting, anticipating this kind of collabs, because, I mean, the old got to teach we the new how we're supposed to do it, because, uh -uh, you know, when Baba Tunde Kilani touches a movie now, magic, me. Oh. So, magic, we, I want young kids, I want to be uh, me, I'm looking for a couple of go back, he should call me, a young man, why coach it? Ah, uh, Baba? Baba, Baba, call him, 0 0, zero, zero. Baba, take the number. Let me know the main number for me. <laughs> Alright, we're going to watch now, and yeah. I know that people are looking forward to this time. I've been looking forward to this movie like since. Well, yes, sir. yes sir. What do you think people would eventually take out of a story like this? That life is not a bed of roses. You have to work hard. And that Nigerian music in the days. Back in the days. Classic Lorian oh, man. <laughs> Thank you, Shay. You always about to talk to you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you storm out of the cinema after seeing an amazing movie. You can already see that it's joy all the way from here. And I am so glad because those guys that put this movie together definitely did a great job. Oh my God. I don't have to tell you. You need to come see it for yourself. On the 18th of June, that is when Ayinla hits the cinema. Don't you want to come and see what Uncle Tunde Kalani brought to the table? I'm sure you want to. And you need to come out to the cinema to see this one because it was fantabulous. I love our culture. I love stories that I like our culture and tradition. And that's what Ayinla did to us today. It took us way back and I cannot get over it. Till next time when we come your way again, don't say I did not tell you that this movie is a bomb. <laughs> Guys, I have to go now. We trust that you had fun on this red carpet with us. Till next time, my name is Elisha Moyosara Lua. Goodbye. <laughs> Mo boy pe on plan lati gbe aye la omo wura lo si london for a musical tour ke bi won ni ko sai apala ni london awa ma gbe apala o london a london and this is going to be aye last debut tagala aye la ba da da mo gun ko discover his essence alaji aye la ni mo wari lati bo the roots that bore him emi o ki se yawo ni ta yawo mi re o nje le omo aburo ya mi gan gan bayi ni mo ri be se wo omo yan la a je pe tori wa idi na lo se fe di soyo yo to mbura his music to ti wa la fa ni bi laje agata his craft lo foru komi si london ti en lo ya ma ba ba trap ah e gbe ti pe what did we do to him? We are in business. I'm sure you're wondering what's happening with Moya today. Well, it's because we are in a space and a time where culture has taken over and we brought it to the red carpet today, looking all glammed up like a yellow day. I don't know of what time it is, but don't worry about that. I will tell you before I leave here. This is a 
another time on the red carpet live on Anyola Badmos TV and I'm so glad to be out here for the movie Anyola. I'm sure if you think way back to some of those who gave us awesome, awesome music, talk about acting music, then you would definitely think about Angela Mawura. Oh God, I'm sure you're still thinking, right? Um, even if you were not born then, you probably watch your dad or your mom listen to this man. That is the man we're about to watch a story or the story of his life shown to us at the cinema. I am so excited because this project brings together the old and the new, talking about Uncle Tunde Kilani as well as Jade or Shibaru. They have both collaborated together to bring us this particular movie and it has awesome actors like Adeji Meji Latif, it has Mr. Macaroni, Omaomi Dada, Kule Afolayon and a host of others. This promises to be epic because we are about to watch the story of Angela firsthand on this side of life and it's a great time to be alive. Nigerian cinemas are going to experience greatness this time. I can't wait to see it and bring you everyone on this red carpet. But let's go talk to the guests. But before then, I think I should show you all I have going on here tonight. Tell me, what do you think? If I enter the kingdom, would Kabiesi not be pleased with me? No, you just take a look now. Omoto, Omoto. <laughs> anyway, it's not about me. It's about the guests coming out here tonight. So let's go talk to them and know how they feel coming out to see the movie, Ayela wonderful people my name is Aniola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Aniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world guys do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content thank you so much guys and Enola Badmos TV Entertainment without 